Hi, I thought I'd like to talk to you a little about having fun with your journal. First thing you want to do with your journal is give it a good cover. Every journal deserves a good cover. I wanted to show you just a few of mine. This is one from a long time ago. Here's another. And you'll notice I like to use collage pieces. So I have two different photos here and then a little bird that I cut out and then this wonderful wrapper that was around a pair of scissors. On this one, I loved the man in the field that I found in an art magazine. And then I made a sticker that said yes. And then I glued some yellow ribbon. And I try to put a title. This one just says grist for the mill. <clears throat> and I always put the year inside. Sometimes I find a picture for the inside cover. Here's another one. I love this picture. It's a a favorite musician, her name is Um Kulsum, and she's playing her oud. I just couldn't resist that one. And this one, I made a drawing of a cat on the back, the white side of some beautiful paper. And I glued the cat, cut him out and glued him over these beautiful pens. Back when pens were something that you put a nib on the end and dipped it in ink, a marvelous thing. Here's some covers of notebooks of kid writing from Young Writers Camp. Another collage. Here's another one. This was 2016. And you'll notice I use a lot of different pieces of beautiful paper. What I do is I just collect beautiful paper whenever I find it. And I keep it in a big bag. And then when I need it, I have it. And I always plan my collage. You can't rush it. You have to plan it and lay everything out first. This is the journal I'm working on now. I took this photograph of two of my favorite pairs of scissors. I have an affection for old scissors whenever I find them. And then you'll recognize the Trader Joe's eyeball sticker and the kitty sticker. Inside your journal, sometimes you don't know what to write, but you want to write anyway because it's fun and it's good for you. The more you write, the more you get ideas. One thing I like to write down are favorite quotes that I hear. This one from Langston Hughes, poems are like rainbows. They escape you quietly. Langston Hughes is one of the most wonderful writers. Another one that I have is from Neil Gaiman. It's a quote of a conversation between himself and a child. The child says, I want to be an author when I grow up. Am I insane? And Neil Gaiman replies, yes, growing up is highly overrided. Just be an author. I can't resist a good quote, and I generally like to collect them. I collect a lot of different kinds of words. In the beginning of your journal, your notebook, you might want to make a page that just says who you are, an I am page, and make a list of all the things that make you who you are. Think about it. It takes time to make a good I am list. One of the young writers at camp, Jocelyn Chen, wrote a beautiful I am poem out of her list. She wrote, I am happy and funny. I wonder if I can fly. I see the moon, I hear a bird. I wanna be smart. This is Jocelyn writing at camp. She's lovely, eh? You could also make a list of things that you can do, stuff you can do. Take care of animals, swim, sing, draw, paint, launder, exercise. And then at the bottom, put a list of things you'd like to be able to do. Another page that I like to put in my journal is called a heart map. This is a heart map I made a long, 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 long time ago. And I was thinking for my kids of this quote from William Wordsworth. He was a great uh, British poet years and years ago. He said, fill your page with the breathings of your heart. And so that's what I do. I make a collage in the middle 
with a big heart on it, and then I make a list of all the things I love. There's another author, Eloise Greenfield. She has a beautiful poem called Honey I Love. I love, I love a lot of things, a whole lot of things. Here's another heart map. This one I decorated with clocks. I love old clocks, just like Owen Quo. And dogs and cats. Another thing you can do after you make your list of things you love is you can make a list of things that really bug you. A list of things that you just can't stand, like mean people. Why, right? Uncomfortable shoes. Wind, when you're trying to use your umbrella. Stuff you don't like. You can make a list of that. Things that make you mad. If you're in a bad mood one day, it might be a good idea to just go in your room, get out your journal, and write a list of stuff that just really chaps you. Stuff that makes you want to hiss instead of purr. I also like to keep a collection of favorite words. Words that just sound great. I put sunchoke, filament, perambulator, galette, pheasant. I love the way pheasant sounds. Thistle and marjoram, because it reminds me of my sister, marjorie, marjoram. You can make a collage of list collections, word collections, word lists. I showed these, I've showed these before. This is I made the word leaf on a page and I just cut out a beautiful leaf out of decorative green paper. And then I put all the words that remind me of leaf. And the thing I like about this is that when you do want to write something, when you come to a sentence that you're writing about leaves and grass and trees and forest, you might go, oh, there's got to be a better word for this. And it'll be on your leaf page. Same with ocean words. Salty, cool, pelican, beach, wave. You might find out about the word leviathan or doldrums. Doldrums, that's when a ship is in a place where there's no wind, and so they're stuck because they can't get out until the wind comes up and fills their sails, and then they can sail away. Interesting. You can make a food page. This is by a boy who was in my group. He wrote cheeseburger, super duper beef cheeseburger, beef cheese, tomato, avocado. And then he started writing. When I bit my burger, the juice squirted out, french fries, cutting, peeling potatoes, slicing them, scraping my thumb with the peeler, garlic fries, Coca-Cola. When my dad added Sprite to my Coke, one of the first drinks in the restaurant, very bubbly, crepes. And then she start, he starts going on and on. It's fascinating. And then this other student started writing about her favorite food, and she wrote the words fruit salad. And a story came out of it. When I was young, I wanted to be a chef. So whenever dinner was done, I would make my original fruit salad. First, I would cut the leaves of the strawberries, and then she goes on and on, and it's a wonderful story. I wrote a story with kids once where we wrote down foods that we like and foods that we don't like. And I came up with a story about string beans. Because when I was little, I hated them. Because my mom bought string beans in the can. Bad idea. And it wasn't until I went to France and my friend in France took me to the outdoor market and bought Harry Cover. And I said, Harry Corver? Is that a car? No. Anyway, we brought them home and they were amazing. This is a cheese page. I saw this beautiful label. We were getting rid of a package that we had finished. All the Manchego cheese and the package was going away and I kept it to make this cheese monstrance, the sacred cheese, to go to Spain and eat the cheese. My God, would be amazing, right? Elevate your food if you love it. This is a memory hand. It's another thing you can do in your notebook. 
you make this thing a, a shape of your hand, trace it, cut it out, and then put an emotion on each finger. You can barely see. It says sad, happy, excited, angry, nervous, and in the middle, proud. And then out from the fingers, write things that you're sad about. Death of close friends, people having illnesses, the city changing in bad ways sometimes. Sometimes it changes for good ways. Things that you're happy about. When you're on a boat ride, that's a pretty happy feeling. Things that make you nervous. Bad drivers, high places. Ugh. Things that make you angry. Rude people, mean people, people being cruel, waste, garbage on the street, things that you're excited about, starting a new school year, performing, recording, traveling, being with friends or family. There's so many things you can do in your notebook. Sometimes I'll just find something that I want to try. Like on this day, I found one of those pens with the nib, and it wasn't just a regular pen. It wrote like that. And writing with a really fat lettering is just fun. And I ended up making this crazy drawing. And I started a story about Art Nouveau hairstyles. That would be an interesting story, right? Anyway, all this to say, get out your notebook. Decorate it. Start the pages. And then when you're looking for something to write, you'll have all kinds of lists and ideas that you can work with. Have fun and let me know what you're writing.